I don't understand. Why can't you just ask your client roughly how long he needs you to go overseas for your project? It's not so easy. What's so difficult? Why are you so scared of your client? I'm not scared of my client. It's just that um, this is a big project and I'm not the only one involved. Cannot be. He just expect you to drop everything and go, right? What if the project takes about one to six months? It won't be six months. Or a year. Then how? It won't be so long, okay? How do you know it won't be so long? You don't even dare to ask. Look, this is a very good opportunity. Why can't you understand? I understand. But what I don't understand is, why are you so scared of your client? I'm not scared of him. It's just that my client sometimes can be very difficult people. There? Eh? Talking about me, is it? No. Talking about my clients will give me a lot of problems. <laughs> you are the contractor that gives me the most problems. I said I don't care how. Just go and sort it out, okay? Oh, oh, sounds like you're having a stressful day. Eh? The staff, oh, I tell you, they really made me want to vomit blood. I told them so many times already. Um, Kuchu? I think Norani is probably concerned about how you'll be taking the news about Evelyn needing to go on a work trip. Huh? Why don't you say so? Well, I was going to... Why can't people just be clear? Is that so difficult? Just like Evelyn's client. Oh, we need you to go on site, but don't know how long it takes. Just go and see how first. How she's supposed to plan her life like that? Uh, Pochu. If you need anything, just let us know. I need that stuff to wake up her idea. Ah, Pocho! Hiya! Will she be able to manage at home without Evelyn? Oh, well, she'll have to. Unless she finds someone else to move in with her. Hey, Alama, I'm late. You want to make me for lunch? What is it about? Um, probably best to talk in person. Okay. Um, then I see you later, Christine. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. How's your exam so far? Great. I'll probably be in the one person of people who totally flung their old levels. I'm sure you won't. Come on, let's get going. And you better not be filling her head with silly ideas about things. Another one of your clients is not happy with your homemanship, is it? Mind your own business, okay? Why are you so sensitive? Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I'm here. <coughs> so, what's so important that you all wanted to have a meeting? We had a talk about how we can best support you as a family. We wanted to check with you for the time being, especially once you start your treatment, whether you would like to move into our place. That way, you don't have to worry about your meals. And we can accompany you to the hospital for your treatment. That's very kind of you all. Thank you. We just want to help. Funny, right? Only when it's life and death, then suddenly people become very helpful. Excuse me? Why? It's true, right? If I don't have cancer, you all won't even bother about it. <laughs> um, okay. Why don't I follow you back to your place to pack your stuff and then we can get you settled in? Eh? <laughs> wow. If we do this every week, I will sure lose weight. Today, I clocked so many steps already. Like our MP, every weekend, he's walking the ground. He covers almost the whole estate. Oh, better than my previous one. I saw him once every five years. Hey, see, see, see. Your fitness is quite jalat. Huh? You should do Qigong every day like me. Train up your circulation. I think I left my water bottle 
at the uncle's place. I'll go back and get it. Hey. Huh? Don't waste time. Wow. You're so generous. You give me your water. Of course I'm generous. I'm grassroots leader. I must say, before today, I never knew you are doing so much. Wow. You have a lot of space. Huh? Yeah, there's three bedrooms. That's why we can be roommates. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Uh, just now I saw a nasi padang stall at the coffee shop. How is it? Ah, Cik Norani usually tries to cook at home. Mm. They say it's actually healthier than outside food. They are actually all quite healthy. <laughs> of course, lah, healthy. Otherwise, how to raise a badminton champion? Betul tak, Katija? Let's get one thing straight, okay? Just because my in-laws let you stay here, that doesn't mean the things between us are all suddenly hunky-dory. I know that. Look, they are doing this because they see that you need help. And they want to help. Because that's what good people do. Okay, lah. I need to go to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, hi. hi. Uh, if this is about Sarah, I just wanted to say... Sarah? Actually, Pocho was quite worried about your work trip. Yeah, come sit, sit. Yeah. Oh. So, we wanted to touch base with you to see how we can help her. Mm. Oh. oh, that's very thoughtful of you. And since you're the one who knows her best, we just want to get some tips from you on how we can help her out while you're away. Especially at work. Mm. She's so lucky to have friends like you all. <laughs> how about the elderly that stay alone? As volunteers, I think we should check on them. Nowadays, quite a lot of cases. The residents pass away, but the neighbours don't know until they get the smell. Nowadays, everybody keeps to themselves. Unlike in the past, we are so close to our neighbours. Just like a big family. We don't have enough volunteers. Nobody wants to step up and serve like us. People only want us to solve their problem. Hey, okay. Ah. Good, good, good. You are here. Huh, he all, he got a big problem, man. Uh, you see? You see what I mean? My upstairs neighbour was making char siu. He went to hang all the pork on his laundry poles. The sauce dripped on all my clothes, huh? Did you talk to him? Either he's not at home or he won't answer the door. Always like that. Hiya, your neighbours should try to live in harmony. Don't worry. Your grassroots leader will help you to resolve it. Hey, this is not our job, what? Our job is serving the community. Come, Robert. Show me the chashu. I tell you, this fellow, very one kind. I bet he's purposely ignoring us. Never mind. I will send an email to the town council. Ask them to follow up. I emailed so many times before. They always ignore my email. Don't worry. Emails from me, they will never ignore. Hey, what are you doing outside my house? And you! Ah, good afternoon, sir. We are grassroots leaders. On behalf of... Ah, this guy, ah, every day playing music until the whole block can hear. Hey, at least I didn't drink chasu sauce on the clothes. You... Hey, 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 okay, okay. We can talk through things nicely. Don't be a tipo. Oh. Hey! Hi! Sir, what you just did qualifies as assault. You have two choices. Speak nicely to your neighbour and sort things out or we will call the police. Okay, okay. Hey! Wow, oh, that guy was stunned. But not as stunned as Tao Ke Hing. When the guy pushed him, he cut him out. He didn't know what to do. Yeah. That is the same face every time I ask him when is our wedding anniversary. <laughs> That's why I had to rescue him. Hey, hello, hello, hello. I was preparing my tea, waiting for the time to counter-attack. Uh, it sounds to me like there's a new Kung Fu Sinsei in the neighbourhood. <laughs> anyway, I was the one who helped Robert to solve the issue with his neighbour, OK? I was the mediator. Uh, Lee, uh, better quickly go and make a standee just like Hanks and put it in the coffee shop. I think all the residents will feel safe with it around. <laughs> <laughs> but we still miss Hanks once, of course. There's nowhere to hang umbrellas now. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I know being a grassroots leader is a thankless job, but we do it anyway to serve the community. 
I got a very important meeting. Huh? You call this very important? Hey, it's about your sister. You mean she's not important to you? Everybody keeps on asking me for help. But nobody appreciates it. Like how I helped Robert to solve his dispute with his neighbour. Oh, I didn't know you became a grassroots leader for the recognition. Huh? Anyway, I have a lot of work to do. See, I said you have no appointments this afternoon because you shifted them for the walkabout with Liyue. Tao Ke Heng, I'm sure Po Chu would really appreciate your help. I'm just worried about her not eating properly when I'm away. You know, when she's stressed, she likes to eat a lot of junk food. Then she will get indigestion, which will spoil her mood the next day. Then she will be even more stressed. Yeah, it's a vicious cycle. Then what you want me to do? Huh? Maybe you can just check in at the end of each day, see how she's doing. Yeah, we'll try to do so at work. But you know, sometimes everyone's so busy. I got a better idea. Don't want her to eat rubbish? Ask her to come to my house for dinner. Nelly will cook. What a caring brother. He acts like he's quite chill about it. But deep down, I know he's worried. Who wouldn't be? Huh? You know I read that cancer is the number one cause of death in Singapore. Even more than old age. Hey, young man. Nowadays, if you can die of so-called old age, you are considered fortunate indeed. The thing is, every time I try to talk to him about it, he always pretend like everything is fine. <sighs> As a father myself, I know it's not easy to talk about such things with my son. Probably he doesn't want you to worry. Just don't know how I can help him. You already are. In fact, all of you. Hey, just take one day at a time. Well, another thing that helps her mood is by doing some exercise. I mean, on days that we are able to do our yoga before work, she's usually much better. I keep telling her to take up Qigong, but she doesn't want. So stubborn. Qigong is for Ape only. Talking about me? Uh, they were just talking about how to help you manage while Auntie Evelyn is away. I'm not so helpless, okay? Of course not. You were just... By the way, Carol accidentally sent me a wrong message. She is not even going to a work trip. She is going to a nice long holiday and staying with our friend Carol. Uh, Pocho, I, I can explain. Why did you lie to me? Kara is having some issues and uh, she didn't know who to talk to. Why can't you just tell me the truth? Oh, so irritating. Please. Pocho. Pocho, wait. Can you please let me explain? Fine. Explain. Okay, recently I found out I made some mistake at work some time back. Has caused some complications. Means what? I'm feeling very burnt out. I just wanted to take a break and get away for a while, okay? But it's not because of you, I promise. Everything just happened very fast. I was just telling Carol I needed a break and she just invited me over. I know I should have told you. I just didn't want to trigger your RSD. <laughs> Too bad for me. You probably already did. How long do you need for your break? And when are you coming back? Well, the thing is, I didn't really plan a return trip yet. Then stay as long as you need to. I have to go back to work. You're another one. After finding out I got cancer, are now acting like Mr. Nice Guy towards me. Hey, hello, hello. Huh? I just wanted to find out how you're doing. I also have friends who have prostate cancer. I don't know why they want to do so many tests. Huh? The doctor already said my so-called PSA is so high. Usually, they will need to do a biopsy to confirm. Are you going to get one done? On one hand, they said I need to do a biopsy. Then they also said that the biopsy is so risky. What to do? That is the only I way. I don't like to go to all these surgeries and all that. <sighs> Sometimes I think let me badam better. Hey, Choi, how can you say that? Huh? There are many things in life worth living for. Your kids, for example. My kids? Juliana doesn't know me. Iskandar hardly knows me. And Katija doesn't want to know me. All right, all right. You don't have to talk about all this. Most important thing is get all your treatment over and done with.
just now you said #bojio# has has what R_S_D I thought she only has A_D_H_D R_S_D is rejection sensitive dysphoria this just means that #bojio# feels more sensitive to feeling rejected it's a symptom of A_D_H_D you know that #bojio# has this then you still want to leave her alone at home and go off like that who are you to talk to me like that you don't know what's going on in my life okay yeah, correct. I don't know. So how can you blame me? <sighs> Are you okay or not? More importantly, does Pochu know about it? I'm going for a meeting right now. <sighs> I just hope Ramad will look after his own health. If he's going for treatment but doesn't bother to eat properly, what's the point, right? At least now there's Iskandar to juggle him. But when Iskandar is working, then how? There's nobody to watch him at home. Maybe we need to come up with some kind of a schedule. Papa, that's going a little bit overboard, isn't it? You can back a cheat. Plus, we're all working. Who's so free to keep an eye on him? Then what if something happens to him? He's living under our roof, you know. We are responsible for him. Alama, I didn't think the arrangement would be so leche. Leche? What leche? He has cancer, plus he's your father-in-law. He's also done nothing but cause pain and suffering for Khatija. I know. We should think of him as a fellow human being in need of our help. But at the end of the day, he's really been a crappy father. I don't know. Surely there's something we can do. You mean without inconveniencing ourselves too much, right? Hey! What do you think you're doing? Having a beer? Does your grandma know you're here? I had a really crap paper, okay? What's the big deal anyway? Hey! Obviously you're too young for this. And you should know better, right? You better get out of here before I call the police. I'm going to call your grandma. Are you not? I thought you were cool. I told you to stay away from my granddaughter. But not only did you disregard what I said, you even bought her beer! Hey, I'm the one who tried to call you. She's a minor, for God's sake! Then the more you should pay more attention to her. Who are you to tell me how I should take care of my granddaughter? Hey, come. Let's sit down and talk nicely, okay? There's no point talking to people who don't bother to listen. That's my thoughts exactly. Come on, girl. Bring your things. You flee. Excuse me, can you please move? I know there's something going on. You don't want to tell me, never mind. But you should at least tell Po Chu. She's your best friend. She's my daughter, okay? Huh? Sarah. Sarah, it's my daughter. Cameras? Yep. Let's say you're alone at home and nobody else is in. This way, if anything happens to you, we'll know. Safety? More like you don't trust me. Of course we do. Kalau tidak, you won't be staying here with us already. Actually, you're right. Sayang. In fact, we have every reason to believe that you will continue to lie, cheat and steal from us. But, like I said, this is more for your safety, more than anything else. Basically, you have given us no reason to uh, trust you whatsoever, lah, in case you needed a reminder. So not even Pochu knows about this. Maybe better this way. She may just accidentally say it out or tell everybody. Nobody else can ever know, especially not Sarah. Why? Just because that fellow Jonathan said no? It's to protect Sarah. It's to protect himself. 
Whatever it is, he's right. Sarah will hate me if she finds out. Who says? I abandoned her. Let me ask you. If you are in Sarah's position, would you want to know? Yes, but... Then you should do it. I don't want to disappoint her or mess up her life. Why would you think you would do that? Because I have no idea how to be a, a mother. You know just now? When you scolded Sarah for taking the beer? Yeah. That's what a mother would do. That's what any adult would do. I don't know how to be a mother. That is why I gave her up for adoption. You were young and not ready. Now you're older. I am still not ready. I don't think I will ever be ready. <sighs> ah, forget it. I cannot talk to you when you are like this. Okay, you just go for your trip. Don't worry about anything here. Potro is my sister. I will help her. Whew. Thanks. Thanks for listening and sorry that I unloaded everything on you like that. Okay, just bear in mind one thing. At the end of the day, if you decide to tell Sarah who you are, better do it fast. The longer you wait, the harder it is. And before you know it, it might be too late. Where is Benny coming back from Malaysia? I don't know. What can you don't know? Benny's mom just had a stroke. You expect him to leave her at a time like this? Your mom is saying, you two just got married. It looks bad that he's not around. Married for only a month. And your husband Zhao already. Awo also don't know where in Malaysia. I'm sorry I'm such an embarrassment to the both of you. Eh, Benny is in Malaysia alone. Prime target, okay? Maybe some Malaysian woman will target him to earn Singapore dollars. Do they? Hmm. Can you repeat so that I can hear for yourself how crazy it sounds? <laughs> <laughs>